Yes, and now it's our final couple, Bobrova. Bobrova and, and Solovia. Representing Russia. Just slightly behind Chalk and Bates after the short dance. In third place. And now their free dance. National champions of Russia. And most recently on the podium at the Grand Prix of Russia as they finished second there in Moscow just two weeks ago. They entered this free dance just barely in third place after the short dance behind Chalk and Bates. 
quite a battle for that second step of the podium. Behind our leaders and record setting couple, Papadakis and Cicerone, did they do enough here? Well, it was certainly a beautiful performance, and this couple has, they have a really special quality. They are able to commit to stories and characters better than anybody else in the world. Uh, sometimes you don't know what they're conveying, but this was very, very beautifully done, and some great moments as well. Amazing, some amazing lifts. The upside down, he's in a lunge, he's just a shoulder balance on his knee. Very difficult to do and very innovative. Strong performance. Now they have been a couple for over a decade and a half, teaming up back in November of 2000. And they won the Junior Worlds together the first time they ever entered the event, had success right away. And here you can see them showing off their acting skills. This is a couple that I've always struggled with their basic skating, but then their elements are so strong. Beautiful, beautiful twizzle sequence. Nice entrance into it, great unison. And they've been getting better, but then they'll do back crossovers, sticking their butts out. But then this, um, unbelievable. Where is she balancing from? Using his foot. He's got to stabilize his slide. Not a lot of control in that lunge position. So difficult and well executed. Here's one of their great upside down rotational lift. Beautiful arch position. So effective. Nice speed of rotation. See the use of the body to tell the story. Well, things are heating up. Now the tightest battle coming in to this free dance was that competition for second place between Chalk and Bates and Bobrova and Solovia, separated by just tenths of a point. Chalk and Bates just scored about three points higher than Bobrova and Solovia's free dance the score from the score Cup of Russia. They need a 112.17 to beat Chalk and Bates. Don't do it. They're going to wind up in third, where they started the day. Finish on the podium, but it's a third place finish. 182.84 altogether. And that is higher than their score at their previous competition. So.